Do, 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 do. All right, so we've got the Hubzen X4 here that we're gonna waterproof and test out. But before I do that, I want to make sure and see if this uh, receiver here that I, that I tested before and I sprayed with the with the, uh, the WD-40 and see if it is still um, waterproof and water resistant. Well, waterproof in this case because we're dunking it now. So it's been days. It's been several days, a week, something like that, since I did this, and I have not resprayed it or anything. I just kind of put it back in the, in, in the, put the wrapper around it and set it there. So this is going to be interesting, but this will be a real test of whether or not it stays waterproof for a while, or whether you have to, you know, spray it right before you fly it and are in in might come in contact with water. Okay, so let's hook up the battery here. Have our battery connected to the motor. And let's turn on our transmitter here. Alright, and it works. The motor works. Alright, so like last time, I'm gonna have this going. We have a, a little cup of tap water here. This is well water actually. And again, I have not treated this actual servo lead, but here we go. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is good. Aha. Okay, so that tells me that obviously the water is making some kind of uh, um, causing some issues with this. But I think once we dry, oh, whoop, ah, I think once we dry it off, it will be okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the motor. It's gonna kind of blow on this here. All right, so I've blown on the receiver to kind of get the water out. I'm not sure what this little extra blink means. What does that mean? Does that mean something? I don't remember it doing that before. And it seems like it works like normal. So um, that, that, that's pretty cool. That's I'm pretty pleased with that. So yeah, could you, you know, could you just uh, spray this stuff on and then, you know, several weeks later, you know, go dunk it and go underwater with it? No, probably not. But you know, that's actually, that's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> again, you know, am I am I incorrect in thinking that this would have happened if it was not treated? I don't know. I'm not sure because honestly, I think the ESCs are one of the the bigger problems um, in terms of things that get fried. But I'm not really willing to fry this ESC right now. So I think this is a, this was a pretty good test. And to test that theory of it being waterproof when the stuff it, you know first gets on it when the when you first spray the WD-40 on it again this is the water resistant silicone lubricant stuff I don't know about I haven't tried any other stuff I got this because it was silicone so we're gonna let's just douse this thing again I just let's we'll just go ahead and leave it on I guess and just completely soak this thing now you know and okay so I've so I've just blown I blew it off I blew the water out of it just with my breath with air from my lungs and or is it really air I guess it's carbon dioxide or something our motor is spinning here and let's dunk it in here aha so now it seems to be waterproof when we first spray it on so it may be a, the type of situation where um, you know, assuming that this works for other electronics um, and not just receiver type electronics, it may be the situation where if you want to, uh, if you want to be sure that your stuff is protected in case it actually gets submerged and or maybe even if, if you want it to keep working for a while, uh, then you should just spray on the, 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 you should just spray it before you fly it if you're expected, if you're expecting to encounter um, wet conditions. So cool. I think it's time to move on to the Hubs and X4.